Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, My child, stop listening to the lies of the enemy, for you are more than a conqueror. Yes, I see the whispers that he is whispering to you, saying, Oh, look how better your neighbor is doing and that others are prospering before you. Your God is forgetting you, that you are where you are because of your past mistakes. You don't listen to the lies of the enemy, my child. No, no longer. I am calling you to close your ears to him today. For when you have me, your soul will prosper in every way and you shall be blessed for everything that flows from me is good my child always remember satan is so jealous of your blessings just as he was jealous of my blessings that i gave job that satan's argument was that job was righteous because of the wealth given to him by me but he is and always will be a defeated foe, my child, that you should not entertain. Rather, just remember, his lies belong under your feet. So remember this, my child, this day. Your past is not your today. Whether it shall affect you or not, it shall not be your future. For your past is just a footnote within your history, my child, and your real identity is found alone within me. For my blood speaks better things of your past, present and future. For now your identity is found in me through the finished work of the cross as a child of God and now a co-heir of my kingdom. Even though today you may be feeling like you have wasted the past years of your life, feeling that you have made the wrong decisions, stayed in the wrong place and done the wrong things, I am making all new for you. Yes, despite of how you feel today, my child, I am still in control of your life. And when you surrender your emotions, I will do a new thing for you. Yes, I will, my child. So remember, I am a God, a God of second chances, my child, a God that shows new mercies every new morning. And I will show my mercy to all those that come to me with a broken heart and a contrast spirit my child yes my child I will turn things around for all those that humble themselves to me and I will even use those that have made serious past mistakes with ruined lives and then supernaturally transform them into something beautiful turn your ashes today that's right I will turn your ashes into beauty and make what is broken into something whole. Yes, I will refine those vessels and work my power through them, my child. I will make you my honored vessel within this hour as you submit to my will. Remember, it's never too late for me to pull you out of any bad, dark situation. For I am the light driving out all darkness for those that call upon me. And I will give all those that I love a second chance. Remember Moses was accused of being a murderer. But I used him as my vessel to deliver my people Israel from Egypt. King David was an adulterer. But I forgave him when he repented of his sin. Saul was a hater of my saints in the early church, but I saw potential in him and struck him on the road to Damascus to be used to reach the Gentiles. I forgave the woman they brought before me to be stoned that was caught in adultery. Yes, all were given a second chance at life, and I forgave and used each one of them, my child. I will break every chain that the enemy has been holding you in bondage today, my child. Yes, I will break the chains of 
poverty. I will break the chains of sickness. I will break the chains of oppression. I will break the chains of generational curses. I will break the chains of anxiety. I will break the chains of depression. I will break the chains of loneliness. I will break the chains of barrenness. I will break the chains of rejection. I will break the chains of addiction. I will break the chains of lust. I will break the chains of past trauma and all chains of demonic oppression, my child. Remember the second chance that I gave to the dying man on the cross when he turned and humbled himself before me. So it doesn't matter, my child, whether you made only one major wrong turn or a series of mistakes that left your life in a shambles. Know today that nothing is impossible for me. Yes, I will not only make changes for your life now, but also open doors to a glorious new life later that is in my kingdom, as I did to the thief that was at the cross and I will also do to you and have gone ahead of you to prepare a way. I will restore the lost years for you, my child, so that your future story may be rewritten by me. Remember, all that the enemy meant for harm shall always be used for my glory and your good. Then you yield your life to me. That's all you need to do today is yield your life. Yes, I will even launch you further into my plan and purpose purpose when you submit and yield yourself to me. I will comfort you and strengthen you and bring you times of refreshing when you are feeling down and out and ready to quit. Remember, learn to lean upon me, to trust in and to be confident in me with all your heart and your mind and do not rely on your own insight or understanding. Yes, in all your ways, know me, my child, recognize me and acknowledge me and I will direct and make straight and plain your paths. My child, nothing is ever forgotten or in vain when you come to me in prayer and even all the past prayers and petitions, they have been heard by me and are working for your privilege and benefit today. Day. Even if you cannot see in the natural, I will use all things for your good, my child. So surrender all your cares and worries to me today, for I have called you not to be anxious for anything. I have given you an exciting vision for your future, that your soul may prosper in me today. Your response to what happens today will be very important than what happens my child. So do not allow anyone to limit your dreams to the size of their own faith, my child. Remember, I have sent my spirit to assist you and all things are possible. And he is awaiting to give assistance to you today. Everything in your past is working for good today, my child. So be at peace this day. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. Isaiah 43 verse 16 onwards says, Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea and a path through the mighty waters, who brings forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power, they shall lay down together, they shall not rise. They are extinguished, they are quenched like a wick. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of Oh, behold, I do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Do you like new stuff? That's the question, my child. How many of us like something new or a present or a gift that is given to us? And part of the excitement for kids has always been to open up presents. Whenever they are given a gift, I know that having six 
takes children, they always get excited about being given a gift. See, older family members may get excited about new clothes or a, a new vehicle or a new house or even fresh smell of new carpet in their home. Yes, we like new things, but it's also possible to get stuck in the past and some of us may have had a bit of a difficult past and we find it hard to recover from those even good old days and others of us may be locked face to face with a past that we can't ex escape because of bad mistakes we've made because we may feel stuck by the circumstances of maybe it's a broken marriage a broken home or the sins that we now regret or the injustice of what was done to us but even though Christians do not ignore the past faith in Christ always challenges us to look forward Isaiah reminds us of the only one who brings lasting chains. I am going to do a new thing, says God. Hallelujah. See, we can find joy in forgetting our past only when we our future rests on the chains that Christ works in us because of the cross, the finished work of the cross and the blood that speaks better things. We can experience the joy of forgetting our sinful past and pressing on as new people in Christ Jesus. God wants to do a new thing in your life today. Are you ready for the Lord to do something new for you today? He wants to do a new thing. He wants you to move forward from the past mistakes that you've made. He wants you to stop listening to the lies of the devil. He wants to give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. So let us pray today, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come to you with thanksgiving and thanking you for your wonderful grace, which amazes us each and every day. Thank you for looking down upon us this day, even in our sinful state and being merciful and even so loving to us to forgive us as we call upon you. We thank you for sending your son Jesus Christ to suffer and die for us while we were yet sinners and for opening the way back to fellowship with you. We thank you for your joy, the peace that surpasses all understanding and for your tender mercies which endure forever this day. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that you will bless our family, that no evil shall harm them. Lord God, Lord, that you will grant us the favor to success and that you will locate us today exactly where where you want us anointing lord we want your anointing that will flow lord through us god lord that you will embrace us with your love and that you should take care of all of our concerns lord we thank you lord that even this day that you know every issue that we are dealing with and facing lord please help us and keep us focused on you lord please let us feel your nearness help us to remember that you are in control and that we don't need to be worried or anxious or afraid about the future because we can put our trust in you. We give you all that is weighing us down and we ask you to refresh us and only the things that you can do. Lord, we speak today. Lord, I speak today right now to every person, to every person's physical needs right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I speak complete restoration and hope wholeness in every part of their bodies in Jesus' name. I speak creative miracles now in Jesus' name. Whatever the need may be and whatever the need may come, Lord, that you will visit your people today. Lord, as we speak, Lord, and we see the invisible glory mixed with the invisible sound, Lord, of your word that will create the invisible substance, Lord, of your manifestation of miracles right now to each person's life today. Lord, I pray that in faith they shall receive what you have planned for them, Lord Jesus. Come and touch them. Come and fill them with your power, with your glory today. We pray Pray, Lord Jesus, for your blessing to touch people, for your glory to hit them. Lord, that you will bless them. That, Lord, that you would deliver your 
people. Lord, break every chain within their life that is causing them to stop them from moving forward to the new things. For behold, you're doing a new thing within each person's life. Touch them, fill them with your glory, with your power today. Break every chain. Use your people. Touch them in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrowpath Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. You can also forward to a friend or a family member that is in need today. Hallelujah. Don't forget, we've got the three-day fast that takes place this weekend on Friday, which is the 25th, the 26th, and the 27th of October. God wants to bless you. God wants you to claim every mountain that is before you. You can find the program that is pinned to the comment section or within this particular prayer after hearing it. You can find it on Facebook, Instagram, all the different uh, platforms, or go to our website to the fasting and monthly uh, prayer program that you can find there also. And don't forget, I'll be coming to Trinidad in the Caribbean for seven days of revival as the people of Trinidad catch the fire of repentance revival. So from my family to yours, as I go to the prayer mountain this week, and we'll be praying for you from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom.